I'm Larry, a retired mining engineer and volunteering at uh, South Pass City Historic Park. And we are inside the uh, Carissa Shaft House, where the Carissa Shaft is right here. It goes down 350 feet and uh, it has a hoisting compartment, a manway, ladders with zigzag down, ladder, platform, ladder, platform. Um, they would haul all the mine cars up on this cage from the different levels of the mine. There were like four or five levels of the mine, about a hundred feet apart. And uh, the mine cars would roll off the cage. If it was waste, it'd go out the door onto the waste dump. If it was ore, it'd go up one more level and then it would go across the trussle about 400 feet to the mill where it would be processed to get the ore out. Over on this side, we have the hoist house, which is where the hoist is. It uh, reels in the cable, will lift the cage up and down the shaft. The miners sometimes could ride on the cage, but if they had the steam-powered hoist in place and they didn't have the boiler going, they would probably have to climb the ladders because they didn't want to fire up a boiler just to hoist up men. Um, it was probably quite a rough life. All right. All right, there's the deal going on. Fire our classifier. All right, here comes the ball drop. making machine. The cupels are used in the fire assay process and they are made out of bone ash, little cups with a, a little bowl in the center. You take the bone ash, put a little water in it, mix it up, and then you put it in the, the little mold this cupel maker has made thousands of cupels over its life and it's kind of wore out. 
You shut the lid, then you step on the lever, put all your weight on it, open the lid, and then your cupel pops out, just like that. You could make 200, if you weren't very good at it, it's up to 400 in an hour. And all of the lower ranking assayers or the helpers would have to make cupels every day. You'd let them dry for a week and they're ready to go. That's a bit.